Welcome to the presentation, Path 19 vector. What is Path 19 vector? Path 19 is a commonly used plasmid cloning vector used in E. coli. Path stands for plasmid from the University of California. P stands for plasmid, U for university and C for California. So the initial work has been done uh, the developmental part was done in the University of California, that's why the name uh, PUC or PUC. PUC 19 is a high copy number plasmid. Let's look at the uh, features of uh, PUC 19 vector. PUC 19 is a 2686 base pair plasmid and it carries antibiotic resistance gene ampicillin. So, this is very useful uh, for uh, selective screening. Uh, after the transformation. Uh, so the, the transformants which has this um, PUC19 vector can grow on ampicillin plates. And PUC19 also has N-terminal fragment of beta-galactosidase gene of uh, Laxed and it also has a multiple cloning site. The multi-cloning site is split in the Laxed gene region um, so, the multiple cloning site is a region where the foreign DNA can be inserted into. The multiple cloning site uh, bears a lot of restriction sites, so we, uh, which, which can be used uh, for uh, restriction digestion and for uh, ligation of uh, foreign DNA into the plasmid. This is the basic structure of uh, PUC19 uh, plasmid and you can see here it has an ampicillin resistant gene in that uh, ORE site for uh, replication, plasmid replication inside the bacterial host and it has a, a laxed gene, a portion N terminal uh, a portion or a fragment of the beta galactosidase gene of the laxed and it uh, and the and the MCS region or multiple cloning site uh, region comes in the laxed portion so where the, the restriction uh, sites are also there so we can use uh, restriction and nucleases to cut the region and uh, insert the and the uh, desired gene into the plasmid. PUC19 uh, is extensively used for introducing foreign DNA into the bacterial cells and uh, the, the whole process is called as a transformation uh, where uh, wherein uh, you, you can uh, you can insert or uh, uh, make the plasmid go into the, the bacterial cell by the process called transformation where the transformation uh, process involves uh, uh, making small holes on the on the bacterial cell and uh, by a heat shock method and then suddenly cooling it to heal off the of the pores made in the bacterial bacterial cell wall so during the during that time uh, the uh, the plasmid dna enters into the bacterial cell where it can where it can uh, replicate due to the presence of oricyte. The desired gene or the foreign DNA can be ligated into the PUC19 vector and can be introduced into the host cell. PUC19 vector is used for protein expression as well as for other studies. Uh, the screening method used uh, here is uh, by blue-white screening due to the presence of laxer gene. So by making use of uh, XGAL, uh, so the uh, blue white uh, colony screening can be performed. So this will be explained in detail in the next coming video. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the PUC19 vector has uh, ampicillin uh, resistance genes. So this can be used as a selective marker in uh, in the screening process. So a uh, medium having LB uh, or uh, the LB media, uh, basic media for growing E. coli uh, can be supplemented with uh, a suitable a suitable amount of uh, ampicillin uh, and can be used for screening uh, the transformants. So the bacterial cells uh, which are transformed with uh, with the with the PUC19 vector can grow on the ampicillin plates. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe.